The Color 10 Tech Report here at 9 tonight. Researchers at Missouri S&T are now developing technology that will make detecting potentially dangerous hidden objects easier. It's called a 3D microwave video camera. Color 10's Bria Douglas is here tonight to explain one of its many uses. Bria. David, say someone is trying to hide a plastic 3D printed gun on their person or in a bag. This technology would detect it and potentially prevent a dangerous situation. Recently, as you know, there, there has been this issue of uh, 3D printed guns that now can be, anybody can print it at their homes. And there is quite a bit of difficulty for normal technologies to detect it, be it at the airport or whatever. This technology allows you to actually scan over someone's body if they have one hidden and get an image of it in real time. For the past 20 years, Dr. Reza Zoghi and other Missouri S&T staff members and students have been working to develop a real-time portable 3D microwave video camera prototype. The applications for the technology are almost limitless, as long as you're not looking into something metallic. While airport scanners can detect plastic guns, Taib Gasser, a Missouri S&T professor and researcher, says the university is working on making the device portable to be used at places like concerts or a sporting event. The core technology has been implemented, for example, at the airport screening, but th those are much more expensive, bulky, the size of a refrigerator. We planning to make it uh, real time, so they operate much faster at similar to a video camera at 30 frames per second and make it portable and small enough that could be deployed at any place. The portability would also make it convenient in detecting skin problems. The goal is to make these uh, imaging devices in such a way that they're small enough so you can hover over an area, say burnt skin, if you're looking through dressing to see if your skin is healing properly or a graft is healing properly, you can do that without removing the dressing. Eventually, the researchers want their technology to be accessible to anyone, anywhere, at an affordable price. There's no time frame yet on when that will happen. Interesting report tonight. Bria, thanks for that.